I'm Officer Lori Dillard with the Round Rock ISD Police Department. I'm here to talk to you about drugs. I want you to learn how to be safe, how to be brave, and how to be drug free. So what is a drug? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, a drug is any substance other than food that changes the way the mind and the body works. Wow, I didn't know that, Officer Dillard. Yeah, it's true. A drug can change the way you feel and the way you think. So now we're going to talk about two categories of drugs. One category is acceptable drugs, and the other category is unacceptable drugs. Well, that's what we call illegal drugs. You know, the kind that will get you in trouble and yeah, you might have to go to jail or maybe get a ticket. Yeah, those are the ones we wanna stay away from. So let's talk about the acceptable drugs. Well, the acceptable drug is any drug that your doctor may give you, like a prescribed medication, or your parent may give you, or maybe even your responsible adult. Yeah, like, oh yeah, your grandmother or your grandfather, maybe even your school nurse. Those are acceptable drugs. It won't get you in trouble. Something like cough syrup, tummy ache medication, and oh, something for a really bad headache. Now let's talk about the unacceptable drugs. Well, those are the drugs that can get you in trouble. What are those, Officer Dillard? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's the drug that your doctor would not give you a prescription for. It may be the drug that your parent will not give you or your responsible adult like your grandparents or your school nurse. Those are unacceptable drugs. That's a drug that usually comes from somebody like a stranger. Yeah, a stranger, somebody you don't know. Remember, be safe, stranger danger. Yeah, Officer Dillard, I'm so glad you told me that. Oh, here's another one. What about the thing that you fall on the ground and it's a drug and you don't know what it is? That's unacceptable. Run away and tell a responsible dope. Those are unacceptable drugs. I hope that helped you to understand the difference between the two. Let's talk about the consequences of using an unacceptable drug. You know, the drugs that are illegal, the kind that'll get you in trouble where you'll go to jail, well, what would happen to you if you make the choice to use an unacceptable drug? Well, for one thing, the obvious is you can go to jail and that would be so embarrassing. Your friends would know, your family members would know, and that would be very, very difficult to deal with. Here's another consequence of using an unacceptable drug. You'll get bad health. It's really hard when you have bad health. How can you play your favorite sport, which is a better choice to do? Or even music, or read a book, playing the violin, playing your musical instrument, or go skateboarding or swimming. Those are better choices and it's so much more healthier for your life. Another consequence of using an unacceptable drug is, mm, we don't wanna hurt ourselves or other people. These drugs can really cause us to put ourselves in a position where we could either hurt ourselves or even the people that we love. We wouldn't want that. And of course, failing grades. Everybody likes to good, get good grades in life. You get good grades, you can be the person you were created to be. So that's why we wanna stay away from unacceptable drugs. We have to learn how to say no to drugs. Well, how do we do that? First of all, you need to know what a drug look like. A drug look like so many things. It, it could come in a powder form, a liquid form, or even a pill form. Here's the scary thing. Drugs can actually look like candy. Candy? Yeah, candy. It comes in all colors and sizes and shapes. Sometimes with things that kids like, like happy faces. Oh my goodness. That is so scary, Officer Dillard. I know it is. So we have to know how to be safe and how to say no to drugs because that's how we're gonna be brave, be strong and courageous. So how do police officers find drugs? 
I'm so glad you asked. There are many ways officers can find drugs. You know, the unacceptable drugs, the one that I told you are illegal, that can get you in a lot of trouble. Well, one of the ways we can find drugs is we have what we call a canine officer. Yeah, I have one with me today. Her name is Officer Clear. I like to call her Officer Clear because she is so clear on what an unacceptable drug looked like. And she has a coworker with her. Yeah, her coworker has actually four legs and wear a warm fu fuzzy coat year round. It's a canine dog. It's Officer Waffles. So let me introduce you to Officer Clear and Officer Waffles. How are you, Officer Dillard? I'm doing great. Thank How you. are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for that introduction. Now we've come to my portion and we have a couple of questions that some students have asked. What kind of police officer has a dog for a partner? Well, there's all kinds of police officers and there's all different jobs within the department. You have bicycle officers, mounted patrol officers, which are on horses. You have detectives, you have SWAT team, and you have a canine. And I am a canine officer. Meet my partner, Officer Waffles. Are we allowed to pet a police dog? So, unfortunately, we can't pet police dogs. And I know that's super hard for everyone to understand. And there's reasons that we can't pet police dogs. The first being, they're not a pet like we have at home. They are an actual police officer. So, when they're at work, they're on patrol, just like a regular officer. Also, as a narcotics dog, he works with his nose. And so sometimes we have things on our hands that may not be bad for us, but that could be harmful to him and hurt his nose. And then if his nose gets hurt, then I lose my partner. And then everybody's sad. How long does it take to train a police dog? It takes anywhere from six months to a year to, play, to train a police dog, depending on the dog itself. And it takes a lot of training. You train from anywhere from five to eight hours a day first for their training. And then you get a handler, which I am, and we meet up with a dog to see if we mesh and work together. And if we do, then we start training together and we go through anywhere from a two week to a month training class together. And then after that, we train all the time. We train anywhere from three or four times a week, a few hours a day, just to make sure that the dog is the best that it can be. How do police dogs help keep kids off drugs? Well, instead of me trying to explain it, how about I just show you? Come on. All right, students, as I said inside, instead of answering a question, I'm gonna show you how Waffles can find the drugs. All right, Waffles, you ready? Fine. important to know and remember to be happy, be safe, and be drug free. When you see a drug, you say no and walk away. So remember, say no and go. Right, Waffles? <laughs>